happening guys if you're looking to excel in your fingerstyle guitar playing taking chord melody arrangements to something more advanced then look no further than this video i'm going to go through a somewhat intermediate to advanced percussive fingerstyle arrangement of can't catch me now by olivia rodrigo we're doing this in the key of d major the first chord we're starting on is going to be i'm doing some double stops here and then a b power chord okay so I'm going, basically outlining a B minor chord right here. All right, double stops. That's gonna be three to two on the second string, and then four to two on the third string, and then B power chord. We should know how that's played. All right. And then I'm gonna do, basically a D5 chord, a power chord, just outlining more notes here. Alright. And that's when I'll be doing a slap as well to mimic a snare tone. Double stops again. I'm gonna go from six to seven on the third string and then five to seven on the second string. And then my first finger is gonna snag the root note of a G. Because I'm trying to outline that G major 7 right there when I go When I outline the next part of the melody Okay, another snare there on the barring the 7th fret, bottom 4 strings We're going to hit the melody in the 10th fret of the 1st string, that's a D And then we're going to create a B minor right here Root note is going to be the ninth fret on the 4th string the melody is going to go to the 7th fret on the 1st string And then This right here, we're going to do open 4th string, hit the D note in the bass And bar in the 7th fret That's going to be the 1st, the 3rd And then the 6th So that would be a D major 6 right there Okay, so it's uh, and then I'm going to do power chord right here. The melody is A, F sharp, but I'm going to hit a harmony right there. I'm going to do fifths. Kind of like fifths, personally. I like mixing them up, thirds and fifths. So I'm doing that with my second finger and fourth finger, third fret, fifth fret, and then pulling off to open second string, second fret, first string. And then that leaves room for my second and third finger to create a G chord. All right. Then we're going to come back up to this right here. At all possible, try to create that arpeggio. It sounds really neat when you're doing finger style. And that's going to be a 10th fret on the second string following the melody. And then we're going to go back to B minor, ninth fret, fourth string. chord again, create the melody, and then, alright, series of chords and lower open chords here now. So we're creating the G chord again with our second and third finger, using my first finger to create the melody. That's going to be open, uh, first string, hammer on to the second fret, pulling off, and then pinky is going to snag the third fret of the second string. And then back to hammering on, 2nd fret, 1st string. And then we're going to go E minor with our 2nd and 3rd finger. Or you could do... And then we're going to do an A chord, an A2 chord here. Alright. And then as far as the percussion goes, let's see from the beginning. I like to create a fourth there. That's 
second fret to fourth fret on the third string, and then fifth, uh, sorry, third to fifth on the second string. There you are, guys. If this video helps you guys, be sure to subscribe. You can go and check out my courses in the description below if you want to learn a little more advanced finger style techniques or if you're more beginner then i have a course for you there be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment what you would like your next lesson to be on thank you guys again